Hi, I'm Artifacts of Mars with your Mad Science Update. Uh, some mainstream scientists, uh, I don't know why this is happening, are indulging the flat earth people. And they ask the question, what if the earth is really flat? Obviously it isn't, but you can't tell the, some of these idiots. Alright, the earth is around an orb almost 4,000 miles in radius orbiting a star alongside some other orbs of various sizes. That's not entirely true. It's actually flattened at the poles a little. But, that's getting technical. We've taken pictures of it, but some folks don't believe any evidence presented the, to them by a government agency. Many have come to the conclusion that Earth is actually flat. Oh boy. So again, they're letting the uh, mental hospital patients out. <sighs> what does flat mean? Miles, I've seen positive that the Earth is a disk, with the North Pole in the center, bounded by Antarctica at the eight edges. Unbelievable. So let's look at a few of these scientists. Like I said, I don't know why they're uh, actually indulging flat Earthers, because I will not. The Earth was to suddenly flatten, presumably all sorts of hell break loose. Susan Hume at the USGS. I guess it would depend on how flat it's flat. If we're talking pancake flat, gravity would be an immediate problem. Gravitational attraction attraction goes as G times M1 times M2 forward slash I don't even know what that is but anyway uh, you wouldn't have the gravity the far side gets closer and near the center point the center spreads way out so the surface of gravity goes down at the center and way down the edges lose gravity and bye bye atmosphere other well, first order problems heat and reactivity etc. In our spherical Earth, both of those are concentrated in the core. If the Earth were, Earth were flattened, they would have to go somewhere presumably a lot closer to the surface. Maricucula, public astronomer at the Royal Observatory in London. The Earth is round because it's own gravity inevitably pulls it into a spherical shape. Somehow make it go flat and stay flat, you first have to find a way to switch off the effects of gravity. That would have the unfortunate side effects of allowing Earth's atmosphere to float away into space, rapidly following, followed by anything else not physically attached to the surface. So unfortunately there would be no weather and no life. At least that one uh, didn't indulge uh, fools. Carol Flint, uh, Finn, research geophysicist at the USGS and past president of American Geophysical Union. Here are my thoughts. I made several assumptions. One, that Earth will be flat and flat Earth people think it is. Think about it. And that is, all continents and oceans on the same side as opposed to Northern Hemisphere on one side and Southern on the other. Although many of the things that I talk about here would operate in both cases. I also assume the Earth is rotating on its axis, which is spinning like a frisbee, and still revolving around the sun, which is 93 million miles away. Gravity and the, earth and the sun are flat, and the Earth and probably feel similar to now. As at the edges, the gravity field will start point slightly towards the center, making it increasingly difficult to move toward the edge. You might feel like you're going up an increasingly steep hill. Once you hit the edge, you can walk more easily on the side of the disc. Number two, everyone will see the same stars over a 24 hour period, which I don't. And clear, number three, on clear days, you would see forever. You wouldn't for a for example, see the bottom of the boat disappear before it's top from the horizon as it does now because there's curvature 
because there would be no curvature. There would be no plate tectonics. There would be no magnetic field. Lots of volcanism to cool the climate. Okay, Jeff Masters, Director of Meteorology, uh, Weather Underground. Now that's a lovely uh, endorsement. Let's assume the Earth is flat like the UN logo with all the continents surrounding the North Pole bounded by the oceans. Keep the oceans contained, that's just flat Earth has a huge wall with lots of advertising billboards and a considerable area of solar panels. We might as well have the Earth, the sun orbit of this flat Earth. The weather would be pretty boring, but much safer on this flat Earth since there would be no seasons. Seasons come about because of the tilt of the spherical Earth's axis and flat Earth will be no change and the incoming sunlight at different times of the year. So this guy's really not indulging him either. So here's Anders Sandberg. Let's assume the Earth, for some reason, Wizard did it, unpeels and turns flat. Assume we can ignore the first order effects of accelerating enormous masses at huge speeds, which are likely Cause enough heat and melt the whole thing. Instead, now we have a layer cake with the Earth's crust up on top of a cylinder and a mantle on top of a cylinder or core. Thickness under the flat top is a third of the original radius. And there's a bunch of calculations. Problem number one if you flatten the sphere by peeling it like an orange skin, you get titanic wrists and edges. That's a bit like Jan. Jack Van Wilt Widgets M Muriel Matt Production. I can't pronounce that. Problem number two is mentioned again gravity. Here's a volcanologist Janine Krippner. What an interesting question. I hadn't thought of this one before. I mean, uh, if the Earth were flat, cats would be, have knocked off everything by now. So here are my thoughts as a volcanologist. First question that comes to mind is that how we have magma for volcanoes. I guess a flat Earth would be a slab. That would mean we wouldn't have our sphere with increasing pressures and temperatures within that depth that melts rocks. Plate tectonics and way plants way of recycling material. Very simply plate goes down under another plate, releases warmer water, water rises and reduces melting temperature of the rock. Rock melts in tiny bits, tiny bits of melt rise because they are less dense than the surrounding rock. This eventually forms magma and re reservoir which can rise and pressurize, leading to an eruption. And this goes on and on. Uh, folks, I wouldn't, you know, if you're giving uh, flat earth people any credence, you're giving them, you're giving what are essentially mental patients. You're indulging them. And you really shouldn't. I know there's all sorts of kooks out there. Some say we never went to the moon. Sorry, I was sitting in front of the TV when they uh, landed. And they didn't have technology back then to fake all of this. Not live. Uh, sorry, we went to the moon. It's been proven time and time again. The Earth is not flat, except that poles, of course, is a little bit flattened. That is scientific. Uh, I'm trying to make a 
connection between this and liberalism, and I'm not sure about that yet. Maybe at some future date. For now, uh, this is Mad Science Update. For now, don't indulge somebody who belongs in the mental ward, please. I mean, if they're saying something like this, they're completely delusional. It was one thing way back when, when people didn't have technology, we didn't have photographs, we didn't have calculations, so on and so forth. We didn't have the science. Maybe that was one thing way back when, but that was then. This is now. As a matter of fact, Samara, thanks for watching. The Earth is not flat, it's round. If you honestly believe it's flat and you're not one of these people just trying to get ratings, then please check yourself into a mental hospital. I'm Artifacts of Mars.